So welcome back. Uh, today on the menu is uh, servicing this Mitsubishi of mine and the products you see in front of you have not been sponsored so there's no sponsorship on these products so I'm just showing you what I'm going to use for the service. This is the NGK spark plugs. This one is the oil filter, air filter and the oil. The grand total for this service is uh, nearly 800 Rand uh, that's in South Africa of course uh, if you convert it to dollars that's about $40 so the first things I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna work from the top and work my way to the bottom usually it's a good practice to drain the oil first and let that thing do its business and remove the oil filter but I'm gonna start from the top so let's get started So the first thing I'm going to change is this air filter. It's very easy. Just clip it off. And well, it's dirty. So it's time to replace it. Let's hope they supplied the correct one. match it I accept this part it's the right one if you want to know how to put it in these fins is in line with these fins just slips in And as easy as that, the air fault is done. Now we will go to the plugs. So first we're gonna remove, there's two bolts on each side. It's a 10 millimeter each, and that's for the plug on coil. Or is it coil on plug? I think it's coil on plug. So let's remove it. Just loosening it first, then we're going to do it by hand. <coughs> Put this somewhere safe. So this is number one, two, three, and four. First, I think we will just remove this PCB valve. It's a bit in our way. Let's put it there for now. Let's not forget this one. they break very easy so be careful with the stuff so we're not going to remove these cables in between because it's just easier to leave it like that sometimes a bit stuck you have to wiggle it there goes number four Just 
So this is number two and number three. So let's try number one again. This thing been welded with one. The struggle is real. There you go. My goodness. Now oh, that was a struggle. This came in the kit for the Mitsubishi's. Uh, if you have your kit still, this one works perfectly. You can use aftermarket, but this is made for the Mitsubishi. So, let's use it. Let's go into the hole and it clicks on nicely. It's not very tight, but it's good. Otherwise, if you over tighten it, you can strip out the threads and then you have to put a helicoil and stuff like that in. I'm gonna replace these plugs right now. Let's take a look at one of these plugs and see how it looks. These plugs have done approximately 16,000 kilometers. Uh, the service intervals for the Mitsubishi is 15,000. Doesn't look Plugs look similar. This is the old one. This is new for one. It's got two on its side now. Hmm. Let's see how this works. Uh, what I usually do is to f make sure I don't strip it out. I first turn it backwards and then I feel it drops and then I start turning it slowly. 
if it drops you know it's will be threaded incorrectly otherwise if you don't do that you can cross thread it and then you're gonna have a lot of problems in the future only tighten this by hand first I'm not over tightening it, just to wet snug, nothing further. Nothing further than that, because if you This is number two and three. and these why we here I've already put in this plug here Don't over tighten this as well. Just snug it up. Otherwise you can crack it and that's bad. That's enough. Right. These two is gonna be a pain in the butt. But we have to do it. invention of screws and bolts. But first we have to struggle with these two again. Hopefully they will be not 
des problèmes. Hopefully that's fit. Hopefully that is. And the sound we like is the click sound. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch this end engine on because I wanna see if there's any misfire on this. So, let's do that. First, I'm gonna remove all the tools. Let's not forget that PCV valve hose, otherwise you're going to have problems. That's in, that's in, bolted in, bolted in, this is in. So, let's see if there's any misfire. Well, it starts right up, no misfire, so I think everything's been done correctly. We put in the plugs, we put in the clips, these wiring, if you've missed one, you're going to have an uneven idle. So I'm just going to let it warm it up a bit so we can do the oil. The oil fit is way down there, that back, but I'll show you where it is. See you soon. See you down and so before we start removing the oil and the oil filter, I'm showing you that I've removed the cap here because if I take out the oil and perhaps forget to throw in oil, this will remind me to throw in the oil. So just as just as just a safety precaution. to get your position on this oil footer but it's nearly impossible to get it you can just see the white on this side of the belt to get that thing out just gonna try and show you by pointing at it it's that thing over there so there's no way for me to put a camera in there Remember that the oil filter itself is empty at the moment, so after you've filled it to the maximum level, you have to start the vehicle because the oil filter needs to fill up. Then you switch off and then you check again. So let's do that. There it is, nearly just over half. That is right on the money. That's the full mark. You can see the 
it's shining over there so now I'm gonna drive the car first and and then I'm gonna fill it up again so this is how you service this car I hope someone found it helpful so enjoy your day and remember put the cap back and there the service is done